Hi friends, welcome back to my channel Explore with Suchita. Today I am going to show you how to prepare restaurant style Rava Dosa and Bombay Sago or Potato Sago. Before that, if you have not subscribed to my channel and press the bell icon so that if, if I post any videos, you will get the notification. Please like my videos and share it with your friends. Preparing restaurant style Rava Dosa, I am taking 1 cup of Bangalore Rava or Bombay Rava. You can see in this cup, I have taken 1 cup of Bengaluru Rava. Use same cup for measurement. Next, I am going to take 1 and a half cup of rice flour. 1 cup. And again half cup. See one and a half cup of rice flour. Now I am taking one cup of maida. For preparing rava dosa, if you are using rava dosa as a breakfast, you have to prepare the batter in the previous day night only. Now I am going to add water and I am going to mix it well. Mix it well in such a way that lumps should not be there. should be in watery consistency so add more water see now batter is ready I have prepared the batter previous day night tomorrow morning I will show you the next procedure of making rava dosa and rava dosa batter doesn't need any fermentation just I will close one plate and I will keep it aside for overnight. Along with rava dosa, I am preparing Bombay sagu or potato sagu. For that, I have taken fresh green peas. Now I am adding groundnuts. Now I am adding potato. I have taken four potatoes. Add water as per required and I am adding little salt for taste. Now I will close the lid and allow it for one vision. For rava dosa I am chopping onion. Today I am using chopper. You can see onion is finely chopped now. You can see now morning my dosa batter is like this. Now I am adding chopped onions. Now I am adding chopped green chillies. I have taken two green chillies. Now I will add salt. Now I am adding coriander. Jeera. Now I will mix it well. I am adding water. Batter should be thin. So I am adding water. Now my rava dosa batter is ready. You can see my batter is in this consistency.
For preparing bhaji, I have kept a pan. I have added oil. Now I am adding mustard. Jeera. Channa dal. Urad dal. Now I am adding onion. And chopped green chilli. Curry leaf. We have to fry this until onion gets little brown in color. Now I am adding ginger garlic paste. Now I am adding tomato. I have taken two tomatoes. Turmeric powder Now I am adding little ink Now I am adding boiled green peas and groundnuts. Boiled and smashed potatoes. Now I am taking gram flour that is basin in one bowl. I have taken two spoons of gram flour. I am going to mix it with water. Mix it well in such a way that lumps should not be formed. I have added little water that is the stock which we got after boiling potato, green peas and groundnut. Now I am adding the mixture of gram flour and water. This gives a good consistency for our Bombay sagu. And it gives the taste as same as restaurant. Now I am adding salt, add salt as per your taste. Now I am adding little jaggery. Adjust the consistency of sagu by adding water. Now today I am keeping this in this consistency. Now I am adding fresh lemon juice. Now I am adding coriander. Now Bombay Sago is ready.
now my tawa is heated now i am going to pour dosa butter on the tawa now i am adding oil you can see this you can remove easily you can remove dosa easily from the tawa See my rava dosa is ready. Now I will show you another dosa. Add oil after dosa is cooked well. See, it comes very easily from Tawa. You can fold this however you need it. Now, restaurant style. Rava dosa is ready along with Bombay sagu or potato sagu, coconut chutney. Hope so you enjoyed my video. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that if I post any videos, you get the notification. Please like my videos and share it with your friends also. Thanks for watching.